My guest today on the podcast is Julie Wilcox, who has written a sensational new book about how to eat and enjoy it. And uh, uh, I wonder why it had never been written before. It's called Win Win. And uh, it is. I've actually been working it myself and I've lost some weight, uh, although um, I've been doing this for some time. But nobody's actually put this together like this kind of book before. And I thought it was quite remarkable. I'll give you a sample of uh, basically, well, let me ask her and she'll describe it to you. Hi, Julie. How are you? Julie, welcome. I <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me today. So the win-win diet is a a guide and a delicious recipe resource for how to establish an achievable and flexible plant-based diet without having to sacrifice the foods you love. <laughs> that, that sounds great. And I'm looking at some of the, um, I mentioned I'm looking at some of the meal plans. On a Monday breakfast, fried eggs with turkey sausage and avocado. What could be bad with that? <laughs> so that would be for the flexitarian. That's, that's for the flexitarian who still wants to eat some meat. Flexitarian or a meatitarian, a carnivore. Right. <laughs> then there's lunch is no cream, cream of asparagus soup, almond flour, tortilla, flatbread. And uh, snack is an apple, which is something I do. Uh, golden and delicious, are, I think the best of all. Mm -hmm. I'm and a fan of honey crisps myself, but. <laughs> dinner, I'm going to jump a day is uh, lime shrimp tacos with chipotle. Chipotle, I can never pronounce that word. Crema. And then dessert is a vegan vanilla bean rice pudding. So mm -hmm. it just satisfies everything. And uh, how long have you been, have you been doing this yourself for yourself? I have been a pescatarian actually um, for about two decades now. So when I was younger, I was an omnivore. Then I became a vegetarian for about 10 years. And then finally I landed as a pescatarian and I've been that since my, my 20s actually. So um, I hope that other people can feel uh, similarly confident that they can move fluidly throughout the continuum of eating patterns in the plant-based world because there are many different ones and they satisfy different needs at different times in life and different taste preferences as well. Um, so when the, the fish see you come and they run away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, just to be getting clear about that. <laughs> especially, especially the soul. I'm a big fan of gray soul and Dover soul. So <laughs> How do you prepare Dover sole in this? Ah, so you can have it simply um, sauteed, like a sole meunier style, or or baked in the oven, um, uh, or a, the gray sole. I like to do as a panko crusted um, dish as well. Those are my favorites. Can can you do anything with breadcrumbs, or is that 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 would be the panko crusted? So panko is a uh, a certain type of breadcrumb that's um, Japanese actually, and it's a bit of a lighter uh, form of a breadcrumb than, than the one that you typically would use. Now you've, you've gotten involved in wellness uh, for quite a while and I wondered how, how, it, how it came about. Was that something you studied at school? I actually was a gymnast when I was very young from the ages of eight to 15. I was training under Russian coaches quite seriously, about four hours a day um, and competing on the weekends. And that was really my introduction to health and well-being, really taking good care of my, my fitness and how to fuel my body with the right foods. Um, I had to be very disciplined um, in, in that effort. Um, later in life, I became a yoga teacher and studio owner, and I learned about mindfulness and balance, and I integrated those concepts and principles with the, the discipline to come to a, a bit of a more lenient and content and peaceful place with food. And then finally, I went to school at NYU for my master's of science in nutrition and dietetics, and I 
really came to understand how important personalizing one's diet is. So I, I put that into the mix as well. And the culmination of those experiences and, and concepts is the win-win diet. <laughs> Uh, are there, do you have an office or a gym or that you, uh, in town, in the city? I am based in New York City and I'm currently doing work virtually. Um, so yes, I do see, see clients. I, I work with them coaching and holistic wellness and, and nutrition or yoga and mindfulness. And I work with, with corporate clients as well. Well, this book uh, just came out like uh, two weeks ago or a week ago, and it, you've been on a whole variety of programs about it. It's become quite a hit. Uh, where, where, where have you been on television and, and uh, radio? Oh, wow. Well, um, I had an episode on NBC Philadelphia air yesterday where we were making the vegan thumbprint corn muffin recipe. That was a fun one. Um, I have been on iHeartRadio and a um, bunch of other podcasts, lots of radio stations in Cleveland and, and Michigan, um, in North Carolina, Florida. Um, so I've, I've done quite a widespread across the nation on radio and television. How long have you been working on the book? It's been two, it was two years um, from the time that I started writing it until, until release. So I, I wrote for about a year, then I got a publisher and then the publishing process took another year. So uh, what, what is it Harper? What, what publisher is it? I forget. It is Post Hill Press. Are, do you, are you working on anything since then or just working on promoting this at this point? Primarily promoting this at this point, but I do have another book or two in my back pocket <laughs> waiting to come out. <laughs> what the topics are? Um, they're also health and wellness related. Um, one is more about the personality traits that are essential to health and well-being to cultivate and nurture. I think the, the key to what you're proposing and, and what you're doing for yourself and others is remarkable. and. Uh, I think that um, it 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 has been long needed because people seem to seem to feel like, well, I'm overweight. I guess I have to give up everything I might like, and uh, not eat it again. Exactly. In the win-win diet, I offer four different eating patterns. We talked about flexitarian, which is for people who want to still maintain some meat in their diet. Um, and then there is the pescatarian who doesn't eat meat, but eats fish, dairy, and eggs, the vegetarian who eats dairy and or eggs, and the vegan who doesn't eat any animal products. And the thing that unites and binds anyone that is, is going plant-based is that they are equally focused on increasing their consumption of vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and plant-based protein while they're decreasing their consumption of animal products and also processed foods. So there really is something for everyone in that um, continuum of eating patterns. And I, I really want people to know that small incremental changes can have a huge impact on their health, on the environment and animal welfare. The benefits of plant-based eating and so far as personal health is concerned range from enhanced energy to better sleep, stronger immunity, greater mental clarity and focus and prevention management and treatment of many, many chronic diseases out there from type two diabetes to cardiovascular disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, depression. So you really can't go wrong with, with a, a plant-based diet. Is there a particular, uh, I guess the word is um, kind of way of eating in Mediterranean or Pacific Rim or Midwest or that is better than others? Those regions typically adhere to some form of a flexitarian or a pescatarian diet. So they are plant-based, but they do tend to eat very small portions of high quality um, animal products, whether that's meat, dairy, or eggs. I don't know if you know of the blue zones at all, but those are regions in the world um, that are home to the greatest number of centenarians on the earth. And um, they, for instance, eat organic, local, 
meat from, you know, their backyard and, and same with the dairy and eggs and, and dairy, they're pretty much eating sheep's and goat's milk, not so much cow's milk. So, um, and of course, very heavy on the vegetables and the fruits and the seeds and the nuts. Um, so yeah, those, those regions fit under this umbrella of, of plant-based eating. Which are those regions? So those are Ikaria, Greece, Sardinia, then Okinawa, Japan, Loma Linda, California, and Nosara, Costa Rica. Uh, good places to visit, I should think. Absolutely. We come out to the Hamptons, I understand. You have a house in Watermill? I do, I do. I've been coming out since I was four years old. My parents had a place out there when I was younger and I followed suit and now have my own and I have a 15 year old daughter as well. So we love to, to spend our time out there, especially in, in spring, summer and fall, not as much right now. But Are you out here now? We do come out sometimes on the weekends, but just not as frequently. Yeah. And what do you like to do when you're out here in the summer? I love to run and walk, do yoga, you know, spend time at the beach, surf in the summers, um, definitely visit the farm stands and all the delicious restaurants with the local catches of the day. Um, I have a lot of friends out there. I play tennis. Generally speaking, I just really love to stay active and, and be a part of the community, which is a wonderful community. What's your favorite activity out here? I'd say just strolling on the beach. I mean, I've been to many beaches around the world. World, I don't know if you agree with me, but I think the Hamptons beaches definitely are up there in the top three for sure <laughs> as being most beautiful. Yes. And uh, I've traveled to quite a bit when I was young. Uh, I, I used to shut the paper down in the winter time mm. and uh, go off and find a place to live for three or four months elsewhere in the world. And there's nothing quite like uh, quite like the Hamptons and uh, the beaches. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, thank you for being on the podcast. This is Julie Wilcox. The book is called Win-Win Diet. And uh, I hope you uh, have a, a good run with that book and the next one. And I'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Dan. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.